So we're going to take a look at, I think we're going to take a look at this UFO videos that has the world on edge, which I would like to find out who that is because it definitely isn't me. Um, 34,000 views in 10 days. So somebody's definitely watching this, right? I just don't know who because it's definitely not me. Well, it's about to be me now, but it hasn't been me. So um, with that, guys, let's go ahead and hop in and kind of see what this is all about, shall we? We may not make it the whole entire time. Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. Blake Cousins, along with Dr. J, my brother Brent, and Apollo, we're looking at UFO videos. I don't know nothing about the guy to know if he is a doctor. Just in, take a look at this. Right, we're gonna get a closer look at this daytime sighting of what is the typical flying saucer. And let me tell you, we've got a lot of them for you tonight. It's been crazy this whole week, this month about broad daylight flying. How can you struggle to keep your camera on that, that thing? I, I don't understand. It should be very easy to keep your camera on that. Flying saucers captured around the world, but we're gonna look at what happened just this week. Multiple cameras, multiple eyewitnesses the videos just keep coming in so we're going to be looking at some of this stuff tonight and uh, buckle up for that what do you guys make of it we're looking at this still pause photo of the video itself you make it out anything here brett yeah it's looking pretty good and then let's just move <laughs> it's looking pretty good i i don't know what i'm looking at it looks like one of those uh, i don't i don't know I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm not ready to say it's it's real or fake. I'm just saying, I don't know what I'm seeing. The video as it traverses over the sky, this is a good vantage point. You could see the person off from some distance and then zoom in and you see this classic flying saucer that we've been seeing throughout the years in this region of South America. What's going on, Dr. J? Okay. We didn't get to see if it went behind the mountain. Uh, it'd be light. It'd be nice to know if it went behind the mountain or in front of the mountain. Sir, that we've been seeing throughout the years in this region of South America. What's going on, Dr. J? Okay, you see, it looks like it's in front of the mountain, the trees. So it's like really close. It's between like this pole and those trees. And it looks like it's about six inch toy i it doesn't look very big i, I have a hard time believing that's a real ufo this is fantastic footage first of all it's not very rounded on the top if you notice it's a little more point what is that it kind of reminds me of the wait and uh, we're dropping this new one right now the close-up second uh angle of what's going on go ahead john well i was saying this is a little more okay let me just say this if you've seen Skinwalker Ranch, there's some crazy stuff on there. I don't know what I'm looking at. I, I honestly couldn't tell you. It doesn't look like, I mean, it's between two trees. It's really hard to tell how big it is. Pointed instead of rounded on the top. And it reminds me of what Michael Herrera said that he saw was a U, uh, an ARV with black ops soldiers. At the same time, this also looks like a craft with beings inside that people saw in Papua New Guinea in the 50s. This is awesome footage. How is it the same footage from the same thing? I have no idea. Yeah, it's interesting, you know, these like kind of top shaped ones that are very pointed on the top and the bottom here. I know we get a lot of these in especially from Mexico and that part of the world. So I'm wondering, you know, why that is? Probably because they're getting a lot of views on them. You know, it's a good question. What I'm thinking is the military over there in South America doesn't even rival anything comparatively to our Air Force, Navy. Um, so I think they have a free ride over there. These UFOs don't have any surveillance from military aircraft. They just could run out and be out there and being captured on film everywhere. Here's another one that was just captured within a few days. It's just happening incredibly. Now here's the thing. I don't think we're at the point where we can have drones that look like that, but uh, I don't think we're actually seeing drones like that. Um, we don't have an idea of perspective of how big they are. Obviously they're kind of 
whatever they're filming, right? Let's just say it's there. It's actually pretty close. It does go in in hand with something they're seeing at Skinwalker Ranch. The only problem is you're only seeing those at Skinwalker Ranch under night, like, um, was it red, infrared? But I, I'm, I'm real skepti skeptical because of how things are these days. Really consistent down in this region. Yeah, that's what I... It does look like whatever it is, it is behind the wire like about these videos that continuously come into third phase moon it's pretty cool and what what we got here i don't know what kind of editing you could do to make them go behind like that but it doesn't like I said, it doesn't look like it's very big again it's the newest footage that's coming to us on the planet so thank you for joining us right now give us a big thumbs up for sharing the newest ufo videos that comes in again dr j we're looking at this uh dislike object a uh, disc tr dis Okay, so something they pointed out on um, is around UFOs, and this is this goes like that Tic Tac one. There's usually like this heat that comes off of it. You can see a little bit of a light glow that they refer to, but I, I, you know, it could just be Photoshop. It just looks like a black blob, to be honest with you in the sky as it goes behind the, the power lines. This is 100% legitimate footage. What's going on here? This is actually one of my favorites from tonight. This is up close and personal. I mean, you could see the details literally all over this craft. And what I think it's actually doing, like you said, behind the power lines, very low to the ground, very slow. It's almost as if it's looking for something. Is it looking at plant life? Is it looking to take some creatures, including humans? I always say this, when you see a craft, generally they're going to or coming from an abduction. So Man, what, what did I end up on? Talk about abductions and stuff. Okay. I mean, I'm not saying that if aliens are real, that people are not, if you have UFOs are, are real, that people are not getting abducted. I'm, I'm not going to say that that's not happening. But the size of this thing, like, how, like how big of, um, like, how big of an animal are they trying to catch? Like, how big of a person? I mean, um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I'm kind of, <laughs> okay, I'm, let's just keep going. But right now, I'm just like, what? So whether it's that or some other scientific experiment, it looks like it's definitely searching. Yeah, I think what's fascinating about this one is that it's hovering so slowly down to the ground. I mean, I'm wondering how many people actually caught footage of this. We don't know how far it is to the ground because we don't know the ass, the... The ratio. Um. Uh, and, and you know, basically, like the the parallax with the power lines. Uh, that's very interesting as well. So, uh, I think uh, this one is definitely something. You know, as we watch the videos that are coming in, we could compare the size, the comparison. They all seem like it's almost the same craft to me, which is interesting. And again, no means of propulsion. Some of them move in a way that just seemingly seems that it's defying the laws of physics. Uh, we're not saying that it is. Somebody cracked the code, something cracked the code. And again, we're bringing up some footage that was captured earlier this month in the same region of the same uh, craft. We're gonna get some good close-ups and you can see the aerodynamics of this thing. I, I... You know, that looks like something, like really? That looks like something I saw in an 80s movie, like 100%. Like that is, when you go look at old sci-fi movies, like that, that is the perfect look of a, of a classic UFO from an old movie. Like, I, I'm telling you, I've seen it. That's like one of those spin top style um, UFOs. I bet you this design is built for speed. If it just has that kind of sleek design, right, John? Absolutely. And I'm wondering if they are really serious or why well, I don't see I don't hear anything to make them feel like they they question it, but it doesn't look like it's a perfect. Like you see, it kind of looks warped. It doesn't look like it's um it, it looks like and what's all this? Like what's all this like 
buzz around it. And I think that's what makes them able to be trans medium, where they can go in space, they can go in the atmosphere of the sky, and... Now, let me just say this. Either way, this one is, is interesting. This is interesting. I don't, I'm not saying it's real. I'm just saying that the, the CG, like the art style, even if it is real, art style, but this one is interesting. It's almost like a flying starfish. Crazier in the atmosphere of the water and still go supersonic speeds. Yeah, that was a good close up right there. And uh, here's another example of. You know, that reminds me of. People using like, um, what is it? The uh, off their tires or rims. Uh, these kind of like this one doesn't exactly match what we just seen earlier that happened this week. This is a, a vintage shot that uh, we've been seeing circulate on the net. And Dude, that looks. I don't, I, I don't know, man. That kind of looks like a. I, I'm not. I'm not going to harass it. I'm just going to say that I don't know what I'm looking at right there. It almost looks like you would go on top of like a the, the bed, like a. And we wanted to pull it up. They they come in all shapes and, and sizes. This one's very unique. It looks solid. It looks like it's made out of stainless steel. So I I really think that guy could keep a straight a straight voice whenever he said it because that thing looks ridiculous. Yeah, what I think is really fascinating about this one is this uh, part at the bottom here that. Okay. You know what that looks like? The restaurants. There's some restaurants. There's one in Dallas that has a ball on it. Uh, there's Is that like the one in Seattle? You pretty much just took the top of a building and then cut it off? It's protruding. It almost looks like maybe it's some sort of rotating anti-gravity magnetic kind of device. Oh, but check this out. Check this out. This is pretty wild. Um... That one is kind of interesting. I, you know, there's a light and um, there's actually some thought about those in Skinwalker Ranch. Uh, something like they've seen other things not like that, but that looks like it's just floating in the sky. I, I don't know what to really say about that. Let's see. Look at this next footage that we're looking at right here. What is this? A pillar of light in the sky, but when it gets close up, you actually see it's fuzzy. So it's I don't think it's a light. I think we're actually possibly looking at a portal. Now the reason that's kind of what was in Walker Ridge would say a portal. Um, but where is the other footage? There has to be more footage than this, right? Because that looks like that's over a, a major area. The reason I don't think this is a craft is if the craft is there, where is it? Unless it's hidden. This is probably like a tear into another dimension. Or it, I don't think this is a laser beam coming down from the sky or coming down from the bottom because it's literally in the air. No, as I'm looking at it a little closer, it almost seems that there is some kind of terror rip in the night sky revealing this really bright illuminated scene. This is just straight up science fiction, but th this isn't the science fiction. We're looking at something that's authentic here. This is kind of crazy right now. How do they know it's authentic? Yeah. yeah, this one's a good one. You can see it just hovering over the city as we see this like purplish hueish light just kind of extrude from the center of this uh, apparent tear in the sky. Could this be some new drone technology that they're testing out there? But when you get this super close up, you don't see anything kind of uh, moving or or a bobbling. It seems just to be like this center uh, placement just up there as a tear in the sky. This is pretty cool stuff. Yeah, what I'm noticing is that it's not very, 
it doesn't seem to be moving. It seems to be very kind of stationary. It definitely looks like a tear into another dimension that's peeking through. But honestly, what I think this might actually be is 4D hologram technology being tested out. Um, you know, Project Bluebeam type technology. You know, I, I know the Starlink does some crazy stuff if you ever see a Starlink in the sky. I don't think that's what this is, but um, I think jumping to conclusions like a portal is, is, is jumping a little dramatic. And I think that makes the most sense to me. You know, anybody's guess is as good as ours. We're showing you the footage, guys. I want to get your comments in uh, this live premiere right now. It really means a lot. Now, let's get to the next video. And uh, like I said, we've got a lot of them for you tonight. A plethora of UFOs over the coastline. This has been making the rounds. People asked us our thoughts. Dr. J, yours, is this some kind of fleet of UFOs? You took the word right out of my mouth. That's what I was going to say, a fleet. And I'll tell you why it's probably extraterrestrial. ARVs, we don't test stuff with ma massive fleets. Usually when people talk about an ARV, when they see humans aboard. To me, that looks like a boat, a ship, with just a bunch of lights on it, but or humans near it like Michael Herrera they usually see one maybe two you don't see 15 things clustered together and generally when you do you can safely assume it's probably not from that's a different view I, I if I saw that I probably would be in the same room what is that I would assume it was something um like you know UFO-ish for sure 100% this dimension or this time or this planet yeah, well said there, Dr. J. We're pulling up what we just uh, received a couple days ago, and here it is, the fleet of lights over the ocean, ba basically in the same region. And then uh, we, we have a comparison that happened maybe about four or five years ago that we match up pretty much in the same area. Uh, like, I'm going to throw it out there. People see things that we just don't know what they are, but I'm just going to say, could these be maybe military flares? Uh, dropped off in the distance. I'm not seeing them drop. So I heard that military flares they they drop a little bit slower. Yeah, you know, in the last video, I was wondering if maybe it was a ship out in the ocean, um, you know, really far off. But this one here, it definitely looks like a fleet of UFOs. And what I think is interesting about it is they all seem to be sort of pulsing at the same time all the lights together so i don't know it almost seems like they're in unison but they're not flying around yep and even right now more videos <laughs> coming in some people might dub this the jellyfish ufo i heard about that in like iraq take a look was it iraq We've been talking about biological UFOs. Could they be living organisms that are the culprit behind the phenomenon? Have you guys seen the movie? Nope. Uh, it's pretty good. It's different. It's, it's pretty good. If you haven't seen the, the, the movie, Nope, you should definitely give that one a, a shot. Dr. J, your thoughts on that? You know, the jellyfish is something rare, fairly new, and it first appeared, as everyone knows from the footage released by the DOD, over a military zone in the Middle East. Now, what we know is these things are attracted to conflict. Some people say it's because the most interesting thing we do. Did this all of a sudden open up another species to come visit us? Because these things are not very uh, aerodynamic in any way, but they're being seen all around the world now. Yeah, it almost looks like the Imperial probe droid uh, in Hoth over there in Empire Strikes Back. It's really weird. And this thing, when you get a close-up, the dome of it looks metallic, and you have these kind of uh, legs or uh, protrusions sticking out at the bottom. Almost, it looks weaponized. Yeah, you know, I'm wondering what function these sort of tentacles under them may play in, you know, what it is. I mean, it definitely looks like now, I want to say this about the people doing this. Um, you two, you know, they're going off of the something assumption that what they received is authentic, right? That um, is authentic video. It wasn't manipulated or fake, right? It's legit. Somebody pulled out and this is what they saw. A metallic dish shaped object at the top, but then you see these things hanging down. And, you know, I'm wondering if 
maybe it has some sort of purpose that keeps it airborne. You know, it's interesting. Even Michael Strat uh, speaks of these appendages that are attached to these UFOs in historical fi files and cases. And again, the more videos coming in right now. I am so good, man. Whatever that is, that's interesting. That shit went into the clouds. It went up into the clouds. Yo, I swear to you, G. Yo. Yo. That guy, that guy did a horrible job recording. So, you know, that video, it was a little uh, low res. It's a little shaky, obviously, but we're going to do some enhancements here. You can hear it in the guy's voice. He's shocked. He's describing something that's electrified and it's rising into the cloud layer. And we're looking at it even closer now. And it almost looks to me that there's a sequence of electrical currents running around this black cigar shaped craft and it's high up there you could almost see it intermingling in the cloud layer after we're adding some enhancements here brent yeah blake i was, I was gonna say the video definitely it's a little soft but when you do pull up the enhancements i'm seeing a lot of detail here and i'm, I'm really digging this we're seeing this uh, black cigar object like you said with this illumination of bluish uh, sparkling of static electricity this is wild the close-up is great john well, it was interesting. I haven't seen anything like that to like in any of the videos. I, I don't know. I don't really look at UFO videos, just like Skinwalker Ranch and maybe one here and there, but it's been years since I've looked at UFO videos. This is the first time I've seen one that actually looked like that. That one was probably to me like the most authentic out of all of these. First of all, I want to say I love this footage because a lot of people have seen things going in and out of clouds. It reminds me of this 90 footage over Mexico where you see a craft going in, coming back out and going back in. I have it under. But it would be pretty funny if it was from a movie. <laughs> Just did the camera like that. Because uh, it is pretty, pretty bad footage. Good authority that when there's cloud activity, a lot of it, there's lots of UFO activity going on above because it's blocking it. Now, with regards to the electrical pulses around that, is it possible these are storm clouds and this craft is getting energy from the electricity? I think that's a very fascinating point, John. I think that's definitely possible. What keeps going in front of the camera? Possible. You know, you kind of see these flashes of light pulsing around it, and it really seems to be. And what is that? be very static but i don't think this really looks to me very much like the regular the usual cigar shaped craft you normally see you know normally they're usually metallic this seems to be darker almost like black I, i'm having a hard time making this video feel legit because whatever's going across the screen is just kind of um really pulling me away so, from that i think uh that's definitely very interesting you know, when we're looking at this, and again, we see these bolts of electricity surrounding this dark cigar-shaped craft. And again, like, yeah, it almost just looks like a shadow. And then you see this um, kind of crazy electricity, static electricity surrounding the whole of the craft. Uh, the propulsion on this is just wild, in my opinion, and unexplained. That's why we're sharing it with you right now in third phase. And we're mm -hmm. looking at more unexplained stuff coming in. And it's something i'm not exactly sure maybe it's possible weather phenomenon that the greenish hue is what's interesting to me and it's not moving it's not coming down at first i thought it was a maybe a meteorite or a meteor but then it's not it's just stationary it's very bizarre here that one i like that video because they're far away they, you can see how far it is and they zoom in and zoom into it they look away and zoom back in yeah you know what this is actually making me think of is uh the news story that's come out recently just in the last few days about the balls of plasma that have been discovered by chinese scientists over the pyramids in giza i mean apparently there's just these balls of plasma that are just kind of hanging around in the sky and um you know it's sort of a phenomenon 
So I think, uh, you know, this kind of brings that to mind for me. Yeah, I'm digging this one too, because we're looking at it and this, this took place for quite some time. It, I could have thought maybe it's approaching a uh, lights from again, maybe a commercial air or we, we see this kind of uh, video sent to us all the time, but this thing's not descending. It it just seems to be uh, static, stationary. Is it possible it's like a reflection of their their glass? In that position, and it, it's- I don't think so. From, it looks like it legitimately looks like it's far out there. Quite some time as, as the sun's going down. It kind of looks like a lighter, does it not? Kind of looks like a lighter, right? Down, John. It looks well, like I a first plane. thought it was stationary too. I thought, is this a helicopter shining a spotlight at us? But when you look at it closely, it's ultra bright, but the light seems to be more on one side and you can't really tell the shape. So it's not a spotlight at us. I thought too it was stationary, but if you look very closely at the tree underneath, this thing is traveling like two miles an hour to the right side. Yeah, it's just hanging there, uh, barely moving. And it seems very eerie with the green to me it looks like a flame glow i like the way the person who captured this seems to have been driving alongside this kind of desolate area well i see a little traffic to the left pulls over and manages to capture something that's quite incredible he must have noticed something in the sky and that's what it's all about people like you around the world if you it does look like legitly like it's moving because now it's on the other side of that that tree uh but I, I mean, I don't know. Notice anything crazy. Just pull that camera out and film it and film it until it leaves and do your best. Have a steady hand and upload that video to YouTube and copy paste it to my email and we'll share your videos to the world. Guys, really quick, we're going to be looking at the comic book trailer. Once again, it's available on Amazon and Amazon Kindle for download. The hard copies are out. It's a four part edition, the battle for disclosure series it's uh primed and ready for order yeah pretty happy to have this all done it was, and it's a collaboration with everybody blake apollo and myself and we put this together and told the story you need to read issue one two three and Almost four it's like a here. hollywood movie blockbuster that plays out and has all our friends in there yeah, we had a lot of fun making this, and there's definitely uh, quite a story to tell. You're definitely going to want to. I think we're done. They're kind of uh, just beefing up their their comic book. So, guys, I think that's it. Um, I didn't really honestly see anything myself that would say, but where did I end? <laughs> Where did I end up? But uh are you all right, bud? I've done that. Um I ended up on Fell Army, which I love some Fell Army. We may have to watch one of those one day. Okay, so I, I for for honestly in my opinion, I didn't see anything in here that would say, dude, that like that honestly had me convinced um that they had something good on footage. Those lights are interesting, but um, I think a lot of this stuff can be easily tricked. Like this one was actually pretty cool, but the thing is, like, what keeps going? Why is the camera angle so many different directions? Why can't the guy just hold it straight? It's almost like he's watching. Um... <clears throat> Do you know there's that movie? Um, with the three guys, what is it called? Basically, they get the superpowers, and they're a couple of them are flying through the clouds. That's that's kind of what that reminds me of. Um, I forget the name of the movie, but they're like flying through the clouds, and that's just, and that's kind of what like came to my mind for this. And all those different scenes, it's like it got flipped this way, it got flipped the other way, and because you remember, like, they kind of fly through the clouds and things like that. That's kind of what comes to mind. And even looking at it then, right, that kind of almost looks like somebody's body. So I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying that's what comes to my mind. So I, I'm going to say this. We all know this, right? You got to take anything that you see on, on the Internet with a grain of salt. So nothing in there said this is absolutely a UFO to me.
But if if you want to check out this whole video, maybe some other stuff they put out, um, I'll put a link in the description. Let's just see. Somebody said something about a tear in the sky. Uh, I guess somebody passed away. I mean, it looks like most people are enjoying the video. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm the one being the skeptic, but um, millions. There must be multiple videos with multiple angles, or else it's fake. You don't know what to believe at twelve forty. Could it be in reverse? Um. Yeah. So. I think we're good, guys. I think um, I think we're gonna leave it there. I hope you enjoy something different. Uh, I like kind of, dude. We're just gonna explore YouTube and do all kinds of stuff, man. There's no telling what you're gonna see from me. I think he just popped on in his hotel room. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll speak to you guys soon.